Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the HTC MyTouch 3G. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for how to root the HTC MyTouch 3G procedure. Okay, before you begin, this works on the old MyTouches only. Um, that's the one without the 3.5mm headphone jack at the top. So basically just look at your MyTouch. If you have a flat top without any holes, this is the procedure for you. If you have a hole here, a uh, headphone jack, you need to do the MyTouch 1.2 routing procedure. Okay, so you can search our site for how to route the MyTouch 1.2 and that'll be for you. Otherwise, no hole, you can continue with this procedure. Okay, to gain root access, you have to do this entire procedure and then do the how to load a custom ROM procedure and finish that as well. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to downgrade to Cupcake. So you're going to download the original sapimg.nbh by clicking on that there and download that to your computer. Okay, make sure you plug your MyTouch into the computer via USB cable. And when the notification comes up, you're going to pull it down, click it, and then click mount so we can transfer files to the SD card. Okay, now we need to take the SAP IMG NBH file that we just downloaded and copy it over to our SD card of our phone. Uh, we're not going to put it in any folders. We want it on the root of the SD card, so the path should just be removable disk and then the file itself. Okay, once it's done transferring, you need to unplug your MyTouch. And then we're going to turn it off. And then we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and volume down. We're going to keep holding it until H boot mode comes up. And that should start looking for the SAP IMG, that MBH. Once it says that it found, it's going to ask you if you want to start the update. Action for yes, that means push the trackball. So we're going to push the trackball and wait for that to finish. Okay, once it's done doing the update, it's going to ask you, do you want to restart your device? You're going to push yes and wait for it to restart. Okay, so once the phone turned back on and you uh, go through the setup process, you're going to go to settings, applications, uh, and check unknown sources. Make sure that it is on. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go SD card and phone storage. We're going to click unmount SD card then format SD card. This will erase everything on your SD card, just so you know. And it should automatically remount itself. And then we can go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to plug the phone in via USB. Pull down the notification. Click on the USB connected notification and hit mount. Okay, now from our site you're going to download these two files, the FlashRec APK and Amonra's recovery image and save them to your computer. Okay, once you have the flash rack and the recovery image saved to your computer, we're going to copy them over to our SD card. We want to copy them to the root of the SD card, not inside any folders on the SD card, so the flash should just be a removable disk and then the files. Okay, so we're going to take the flash rack APK and the recovery image that we just downloaded, and we're going to copy them over to the root of our SD card. Uh, not inside any folders on our SD card, just on the SD card itself, so it's a removable disk and then those two files. Okay, once those are done transferring, we can unplug the phone. Then we're going to go to the market. And we're going to search for Linda. L-I-N-D-A. Hit search. We're going to download the Linda Manager. And we're going to wait for that to install. Okay, once Linda's installed, we're going to click on it, click on SD card, and click on the flash rec APK, click install, click open, click backup recovery image, slide this and we're going to type in SD card slash recovery dot IMG make sure there's no spaces or anything 
And then that should no longer be grayed out. It should say flash recovery image. We're going to click that. And now that that's flashed, we're going to turn off the phone. And now we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down home and power. Keep holding it. Okay, you should get this recovery screen uh, with all the different options. You're going to now leave it on this screen and go directly to the next video, which is linked at the bottom. Uh, it says how to load a custom ROM on the MyTouch 3G.